Hey guys, it's BT Gamer Girl 11 back with another video. This is going to be a recent pickups video. There are a wide range of things in this video, so I'm just going to kind of go through everything randomly. I did make this video before and I had everything separated by the type of game that it was, but now I'm going to separate everything by like when I bought it. So let's get started. Ahead of time, I am sorry for this chair. It is so obnoxious. Like, like literally, like you can barely move. And, sorry. <laughs> that was... <laughs> that looks weird. Uh, but you can barely move in this chair and it makes like the most obnoxious noise ever. I swear to God, it's not me, it's the chair. <laughs> so I'm just <laughs> getting that out there ahead of time. So let's get started. First, I'm going to start with the Switch games that I picked up. And the first one is Street Fighter, the 30th Anniversary Collection. And this one I actually got for 20 bucks because I had 20 bucks in rewards from Best Buy. So I used that to get this with. And I, I suck massively at Street Fighter. But I enjoy it, so I had to pick it up. And this has, like, Street Fighter, Street Fighter 2. Uh, it's got, like, basically... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's got 12 Street Fighters on here, so that's good enough for me. Alright, then we got, I'll get to that one last. Best Buy had a while back, they have like a $20 Lego game sale. And I got both of these for $20 each. So the first one I got was Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. I'm really enjoying this one so far. It's got Guardians of the Galaxy in it, and I'm a big fan of Groot and Rocket, so I definitely am really loving this game. I, I I always have loved the Lego games, and I don't know why. I just, I find them, like, really fun. I get really addicted to them. And then I also got Lego Worlds, which I have not played yet. It's still shrink-wrapped, but I picked it up because it was 20 bucks, and I don't know, like, a lot of people hate this game. But I figured for 20 bucks I might as well pick it up and when I get bored and have nothing else to play I'll open it and try it out for myself. Then I got Axiom Verge which I heard is a hidden gem. I'm pretty sure I heard that from Metal Jesus Rock's channel. This, uh, was this the one I got for free? No. I had a buy two get one coupon because I updated my rewards from GameStop and this is one of the ones that I got with it. This is a really good game. It's basically, if you, if you like Metroid, you will probably like this game. I'm kind of stuck where I'm at, but I've gotten like really, really far in this game, and I've absolutely loved it to this point, so definitely check this game out. Along with that one, the other two that I got with the buy two get one, the other one I paid for was, I believe this one was like 20 bucks, and then I got Life is Strange also for 20 bucks, which I had not had a chance to play yet. This game is amazing to me. I love it. I love the storyline to it. I love how I love games where you get to make choices and it like changes the outcome because you can go back and play it again and do different things and you're gonna have a different outcome. So definitely love this game. I have not beaten it yet. I'm like literally right at the end of it. I just haven't beaten it yet. Uh, so definitely recommend this game if you have not played it yet. And I figured for twenty bucks, I might as well pick it up. And along with that, I got this one for free, and that is Abzu. And this one, I, I've never heard of this one before until I saw it. And I looked on the back, and it reminded me of games that I played a long time ago. I still have some that I play that are like underwater games, where it's like you're exploring, and it's relaxing, and you kind of look at sea life and that type of stuff. And to me, like, I would rather play this type of game than a violent game when I'm trying to, like, get my stress out or when I'm trying to, like, release anxiety. I have anxiety disorders, like, badly. <laughs> These type of games help me with that a lot. And, like, the relaxing nature of them just helps me to chill out. So I had to pick that up for that reason. Now, there's one on PlayStation 1 that I played a long time ago that I could not think of the name of for the life of me that I need to re-pick up again. I played the crap out of that game when I was a kid. But if anybody knows what I'm talking about, which you probably don't, but if you have any idea, put it in the comment section below because I honestly want to get that game back like really bad and I cannot remember the name of it. So yeah, um, another one that relaxes me, it's not really like, it's not really like this game or the one on PS1, but the GameStop uh, Song of the Deep, 
that one for some reason the music in it like really relaxes me as well I will do a video one day that I just got a video idea of games you should play when you have anxiety that are like relaxing type for for me anyway I'll, I'll do a video on that if you guys are interested so I got those and then another day I picked up Red Out and it was only $11.99 12 bucks at GameStop and I got this because I looked at it and it seemed like it's I first saw it like when I went to got the the two buy two get one free I saw it but I realized it was only 12 bucks I wanted to check out gameplay of it before I picked it up and it kind of reminded me of F-Zero a little bit which I love so I picked it up for that reason I haven't had a chance to play it yet but I really need to play this like it looks amazing so if anybody's played this let me know then from GameStop, I mean GameStop, from Goodwill, I picked up these for, I can't remember if their games are $2.50 or $3.00, like sometimes they charge me $3.00 and sometimes they charge me $2.50, it depends on the person that's working, but I got Family Game Night 2 for the Wii, and I got this one mainly to uh, give to GameStop to get some money back when they do like the 40% extra because I like to get games like this cheap that are actually this is like worth like six bucks I think it's like six or seven bucks I think I think it's worth six bucks at uh with my membership it's worth like six bucks without 40% extra at GameStop and I only paid like three for it so I like to do that just to get credit because in my area there's really nowhere else to go but GameStop unfortunately so it's nice to have trade credit and when you can get more money off of games that you bought from like Goodwill or yard sales or something actually get games that you want it's always a good thing so I got that and then I got Pitfall the Big Adventure which I didn't even know existed until I saw this and this one is in like new condition it's complete and it's it just like literally there's not a scratch or anything on this disc and a manual like it's just perfect I don't I don't know why I've never heard of this because I like Pitfall, like the series, but i never heard of this one. So I'm definitely going to have to check this out. I have a feeling because I've never heard of it. It's probably not very good, but it says on the back here that it includes the original Pitfall and Pitfall 2. So you can't go wrong with that for like three bucks. So pick that up. Then I got Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, because I've been getting into Prince of Persia games. And I did not have this one. This is for PS2. And this one's... It's not had the manual, but I wanted to play this because a long time ago, like, I used to not really like Prince of Persia too much, and now I enjoy it more. I've been playing one on the Wii, I can't think of the name of it, but I'm really enjoying that one. It's a newer version, obviously, than this, but I haven't played this one yet, so I thought I might as well pick it up. So I got that. And then from a pawn store, I picked up these two. And this one is Azurk. Rise of Perithia. It says it's only on Xbox, which is one reason why I picked it up. And this is apparently either you enjoy this game or you hate this game. It's one of those types. So I haven't had a chance to play it yet. And it's this just has the disc. It doesn't have the manual, but it was three dollars. I figured I might as well pick it up because I couldn't find anything else there. So I was like, okay, I'll get that. And then this one I actually did want and have been wanting for a while and never found it for some reason. And that is Blood Wake, and it was also $3 for Xbox. And this one is complete. I don't know why it bugs me that with these Platinum Hits versions, like the disc is like white and silver, and then the manual is black. Like, I don't know why that bugs me. It just, it doesn't match, and it bugs me. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why. Is anybody else obsessive like that? Because I am. I don't know why. But I got that. And then also from... Yeah, okay. This was from GameStop. I believe this was 12 bucks. I can't remember. They gave me another copy. It doesn't have the price on it. But I've been wanting this forever. And I finally, finally my GameStop had it. And it's uh, Folklore. I have not played too much of this yet. But from the little bit that I've played of it, I absolutely love it. And I've watched gameplay after gameplay of this. And was just waiting to get this game. And I finally was able to get it. And it is complete. So I was very happy to pick this up, very happy to add this to my collection. And then, that goes with that stuff, Walmart for some reason is having this thing where they're selling games like at a discount for like $30, $20, or $10, and this one was $10, 
and that is Micro Machines World Series for PS4. So I picked that up just to try it out. I like the original, like I'm a big fan of the original Micro Machines, but some of the other ones that's coming out, like after that one, that kind of changed the concept, of, concept in my opinion, I'm not too much of a fan of, so I don't know what I'm going to think of this, but I'm going to throw it in and check it out. I figure for $10, PS4 game, can't go wrong, so I'll get, i pick that up. And then, let's see, also at Walmart, they were, they had these for like 7 bucks. And I know that's probably a lot, but I really like them. And they are Switch cases for your Switch games. This one I haven't opened yet, but it's about to be open because now I don't have any more room. Um, as you can pretty much tell. And this one. These are, I think that they're great. Like, they're greatly made. They're not cheap. I have scratched the crap out of the back of this one, I just realized. But they hold up really well. And they are Nintendo branded, so I love these. I prefer to keep like my cartridge based games and stuff like this just because it's easier for me to keep up with and I live in a place where there's not that much room so if you can like compact anything it's a good thing so that's what I do with these cases so I picked both of those up and then I went to a yard sale and this yard sale <laughs> I was mad because I got there and they told me it was an older couple and they had grandkids and they had all these Wii games and they said the reason why they were getting rid of the Wii games is because their kids got a PS4 and they were no longer interested in the Wii games. Nala, please don't hit that. Nala. Nala, out. Now, I'm filming here. Drama Queen, I am fil- Dra Drama Queen. Nala, hello. Can Sit your butt now on the floor. Quit hitting my camera so I can continue my video. Sit. Sit. You are so stubborn. Sit. Sit. Do you know what sit means? Sit. Can you sit? No, I'm not petting you right now. I got a video to make. Sit. Okay. I'm sorry about her. She's an attention seeker, if you can't tell. Like, she always wants attention. <gasps> anyway. She's always got to find a way to make it into my videos. I swear she's like a, she's a drama queen. Are, are you done? Huh? You're not done? Okay, well I guess I get to pet you and make the video at the same time. You do realize they can barely see you, right? You can't, can you get your face up a little bit more? Ugh, kind of. <laughs> Alright. They told me that a woman came before me about 10 minutes before me and bought a whole bag of Wii games. And... I have a feeling that was all the good Wii games, like Mario and Zelda and all that, uh, Pokemon if they had any. So that made me mad because all of their games were, all their Wii games were in great condition. I mean, really good condition. They kept really good care of them. But these are the ones that I picked up from there that was left over. It's so nothing great. Um, first, I picked up a, GB, a GBA game there, and that is Dragon Ball Z, The Legacy of Goku. If anybody's interested in this for trade, let me know. I, I thought maybe it'd be worth a little bit more. It's the only one in a dollar for it, so I picked it up. But it's really, it's like, it's like a seven, eight dollar game. So it's not really worth anything. Or it's not worth me. I don't, I don't think, I think this was only actually like a five dollar game or something. I remember looking it up and it's not really worth me selling it. So if anybody's interested, let me know. Now the Wii games I got, the first one I got... It actually was this copy. This was my old copy. I upgraded my copy. This was my old one. And that is Raymond Raving Rabbits 2. Now I picked this one up because I thought I had the first one and not the second one. But it turned out that I had the second one and not the first one. So now I have two copies of this. But this one's in much better condition. So if anybody's interested in this one, let me know. I know a lot of people don't like the rabbits. But I love them because they're crazy and nuts like me. So I absolutely love them. But I picked this up. Each one of these were two bucks. God, can you imagine... Mario, if Mario Kart, Super Mario Brothers, Pokemon, Zelda, anything was in there for two dollars, that just like kills me thinking about it. But anyway, <laughs> I got this one and I'll regret not getting the first one because I could have swore that I had the first one and I didn't. So, got that. And then I picked up, then I picked up Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. All of these, I believe, yeah, were complete, I'm pretty sure. I got Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I heard this is the best Harry Potter game out of all the Harry Potter games. So I picked it up. 
and it's also complete. This one I've been looking for, so I don't know why they left this one behind, but it's a Legend of Spyro, The Eternal Night. I was, I've actually been looking for this one for a while, so I was happy to finally find it, and it's in, like, amazing shape. This makes me so mad. <laughs> like, I just wish I would have got here, like, 15 minutes earlier. Then I got Titanic Mystery. I pick up any game that basically says Titanic on it, because I just think they're fun, regardless of how bad they are. I think they're fun. So I picked this up, and this is actually like a $20 game, so I was happy to find that out later. But this goes in my collection, so that doesn't really matter. But still, it's uh, complete, again, in like new condition. So I was happy to get those, but really disappointed that I did not get there 15 minutes earlier, because God knows what I would have found. He said, when he said that she got a bag full, I literally almost collapsed. It was like 80 degrees outside, and I literally, like, I had nothing to eat yet. And he said that, and my brain just went, what? Like, because I never, I really never find anything at yard sales. This stuff was on a Friday. So I'm starting to think I should go out on Fridays now when I have time, because, I mean, Saturdays, I, for some reason, I just don't find anything. This was also on a Friday, and this was after, uh, right after that yard sale. And this was listed on Craigslist, and they weren't starting until 1030, uh, which I found a little bit weird, but... They did mention they had all kinds of games, so I waited around, I got there about 15 minutes early, and I didn't really want to bug them because they didn't have hardly anything out yet. The people started showing up and already coming over there, so I figured I'm not going to be the first one, but other people are over there, so I might as well. So I go over there and they're taking stuff out and I asked them if they had games, and the first thing I ran into was a bag of Game Boy, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance games. And I was going to pick up the whole bag at the time. That's all I saw out there. So I picked up the whole bag just to be safe. But it ended up like I didn't want to pay that much for everything. So I just picked some out of the bag. And these are the ones that I picked that were Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance. And then I also got this stack right here. All of these that I'm about to show you I got for $42 total. And I thought that was a good deal, and especially especially in my case, because I can never find games like anywhere. This, to me, was like a gold mine, and it lifted my spirits up after the last yard sale. So, don't give up is the moral, I guess, of this talk. Just keep going if you don't find anything, or somebody tells you that they had stuff and they got rid of it. Keep going. Don't stop, because you might run into the next deal. But anyway, I got there, and this guy does have my number now, so I'm hoping he contacts me when they do more yard sales. Um, I'm hoping they do more yard sales. He claims they have storage locker after storage locker. They're trying to get rid of all the stuff in, and he has basically every game system there is that's, like, retro and new that's common system. So he's supposed to be contacting me. He hasn't yet, but I'm hoping he has more yard sales. But anyway, let's get into it. First, I got... One I've been looking for for a while, and that's Classic NES Series Donkey Kong. I want more of these, but happy to find that one. I think that's the only one I have, actually. Then I got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fall of the Foot Clan. This one on the back is, like, really bad. Like, I need to replace it, but all of these, I will tell you the ones that work and don't work. Uh, all the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games work. And then I got Yars Revenge. For Game Boy Color, Game and Watch Gallery for Game Boy, Croc 2 for Game Boy Color, and that was it for those. And then I found Dr. Mario. I picked that one up. I already have this. Uh, this is just going to go on a lot of other NES games that I have, so I can make some money back to get more games with. And this one, I know you guys are going to be like, why do you want that? But I've been wanting this game because I like Woody the Woodpecker, <laughs> and that's Woody Woodpecker. Now, unfortunately, this one does not work. It skips. I have fixed it a little bit to the point where it does play better, but it literally, like, you can't play the game. So, I need to figure out a way to buff it. I need to get a decent buffing machine. The only thing I have are those cheap little, like, doctor, skip doctors. And they do fix, like, minor problems. But anything that has, like, more than a couple scratches on it, it really doesn't do much. It has saved probably about 20, 30 of my games. But this one I can't get to work. So, that disappointed me. Then I picked up Smurf Racer. 
which at one point I thought was worth more. It's only like $10 now, but this is one I've been wanting from my collection, so I was happy to finally get it in my collection. This one I picked up because I had the first one. I didn't have the second one, so I figured I might as well pick it up, and that's Enter Electro Spider-Man 2. Unfortunately, this one did not work when I picked it up, but this one is one that the Skip Doctor did actually fix, so I was happy about that. So now I can add that to my collection. Then I got... Naruto Clash of Ninja 2. This one is in a rental case. I picked this up thinking maybe it was worth a little bit. I keep forgetting that like Naruto really isn't worth that much. But inside of it at the time I did not know was another disc and that is Avatar The Last Airbender which is horrible. A horrible game. But yeah that was in there. I technically got that one for free. But if anybody's interested in Naruto it's complete, but it's in, like, a basic DVD case. But if anybody's interested in that for trade, let me know. All of the ones, like I said, that I, that I don't mention, I think I got through... No, I didn't. There's two more that don't work. This one does. So, I got that. This one I have been wanting to get from my collection for a long time, and I was so happy to see this. I pulled it out the second, like, I saw it, and I just, like, psh, like right out the, th the top. You had to dig through basically all their stuff because I kind of got there early and everything was kind of like just piled on top of other stuff. So, But I found this. I was so happy. And that is Metroid Prime and Metroid Prime Echoes the Bonus Disc for GameCube. At the time, I thought it was just Metroid Prime and then when I got it back later, I realized it had the bonus disc in it. It is complete. Now, I thought this one wasn't going to work because... The game, well, the uh, the Metroid Prime game was scratched up pretty bad, but it works just fine. So I was really, really happy to find that out. So got that. This one, which the disc looked like it was in perfect condition, even though the insert in the case is completely destroyed by God knows what, did not work. And that is Spyro: A Hero's Tale. And I don't know what's wrong with the disc. It looks perfectly fine. It looks like it's never been buffed at all, but it didn't work. So I'm not. <laughs> Not happy about that because this is one that I literally picked up to resell to make up the money that I spent there and for the other stuff that I got at other yard sales and it didn't work so but what can you do? It, at least I have another GameCube case. I can just take this stuff out and use the GameCube case. It doesn't no? Look the manual is in here. And okay. Well I just found a bonus because I do have this game, but I don't have the manual and the manual's in here and I didn't think it was because I saw the precautions booklet and that was it. So I'll put that in my copy, so at least I got something out of it, right? Alright, look on the positive side of things. This one, Shenmue 2, disappointed me as well, because I was very happy to find this, and it's the one that comes with the bonus DVD, and it had the manual, but the disc isn't in here because it doesn't work, and it's sun damage, which means there's no hope in saving it. So I've got to find the disc to replace this with, but at least I have the case. The bonus disc does work and is in basically perfect condition. So I need to find the disc to replace this with, but still, I mean, this disc is only like a 6 or $7 game. But if anybody has this and wants to trade, let me know, because I would be interested in getting that disc. And this one was brand new, which is basically the reason why I picked it up, that and because I enjoyed the movie a lot. And that is Up for PS2 and this one will get open because I for, I don't know why like I just found this movie really fun I like a lot of Pixar movies and this one I found really funny so I picked it up just for that reason but yeah that is all of that and then last but not least I picked up I picked up this box that I got at a community yard sale in my area, which my area is full, and don't take this the wrong way if any people out there, but uh, my area is full of a bunch of retired older people, and basically video games are non-existent. So I thought for sure I was going to go to this community yard sale and not find anything at all gaming related, but it was the only yard sale. <laughs> In my area, it technically was like a flea market. Like it was, it could be big enough to be considered a flea market. And I found this, and I was really happy. So, if you go to a yard sale or go to an area and you think you're not going to find anything, don't think that because you might find something like I did. Another lesson: this is, this is a uh, life experiences with VT Gamer Girl. Um, 
So first off, separately I found these, and these were 50 cents, and there's two official PlayStation Sony, PlayStation 2 Sony memory cards in here that are 8 MB, and then there is one that's 16 MB, and this one's not official, it's an off-brand, but I got all three of these for 50 cents, so I thought that was a good deal, you can't pass memory cards up, so, especially for 50 cents for three of them, so I got that, and then... I ran to this box and I was hoping I'd get a good deal on it. This guy was an elderly gentleman and I brought the box up to him and he asked me if I knew what it was and I said yeah it's basically like controllers for a game system and he says I'll oh, just give me five for the whole box. I'm like okay. So I was perfectly fine with that. Inside the box was two PlayStation Move controllers and they do charge however I have not tested them out yet. But they did charge. Uh, here's the charger. It did not come with the cord to charge it with, but I had one at my house that worked, so I used that and they charged up, which was nice to know. And then it also came with, I don't know what this is. If anybody knows what this is, let me know. It looks like a, like a fan. It's got an on and off button on the back. It's got like little looking fan things down there. If you know what that is, let me know, but I got that in the box. Uh, it also came with the camera, which in itself is like 20 bucks. I already have one of these, so I'm probably going to sell this camera because I don't need it. Then it came with this thing, which had a memory card in it, and I think this is an original PlayStation memory card, and it doesn't say the memory size on it, but it's official PlayStation branded. And this memory card adapter for the PS3, which I also did not know was in there until later on. And it doesn't have a little thing on the back to, I'm guessing, to plug it into the PS3. I don't know. But I don't need this, so if anybody's interested in this, let me know. This is worth about $20, $25 on eBay itself. I don't even technically know what it's for. I guess it's just so you can store your memory on regular like memory cards for your PS3 I don't know maybe you can download games and play them on your PS3 I don't know I need to look into this but if anybody knows anything about this PlayStation 3 adapter let me know because I don't have a clue <gasps> and then it also came with two guns for a PlayStation Move as well so I got all of that for five dollars so that's just a lesson to never pass up a yard sale in an area where you think that nobody's going to have anything because you can always run across something. I've been looking for PlayStation Move for a long time. Finally got my hands on some of the stuff. So now I need to get me some games and I need to test these to make sure that they work. But like I said, they did charge so I'm hoping that's a good sign. So yeah, that was a really good find for me. That is it. I want to thank everybody for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite pickup was that I picked up. Also, guys, if you can please subscribe if you are interested in watching more of my videos. I would really, really appreciate that. And when I hit 700 subscribers, I am going to do my game room tour. And I'm probably going to do something else. Like I said, I just haven't figured it out yet. And also, if you guys can hit the notification bell because YouTube... It's just doing this thing now where they just don't like to inform you when everybody uploads videos, especially ones that are, you know, lower YouTubers like me that don't have many views. They're going to put me on the lower end of the totem pole. So uh, videos that they're going to make money off of, they're obviously going to put before mine because mine don't make any money. So you guys will not see my videos most likely unless you either, one, watch them a lot, it'll pop up for that reason or two if you have the notification bell on. So please turn on the notification bell if you guys can. You won't be bombarded by videos because I don't upload that often. So if you guys can do that I would really really appreciate that as well. And I want to thank you guys for watching once again. Please make sure that you are compassionate to each and everyone that's around you and have a great day.